Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Building Success, a real estate podcast. I am Nicholas Frank, and I'll be your guide as we talk to some of the best and brightest in the world of real estate tech, operations, and financials from across the globe. This podcast would not exist without you as listeners, so if you like what you hear, we'd love to know it. Subscribe on iTunes or your favorite podcast app, and please leave a rating and review. All that information lets us know how we're doing and if this content is valuable to you. Today, I'm speaking with Mandira Mera, Chief Marketing Officer at MRI Software. And today's episode is a little bit different from some of our past episodes in that we're going to be talking about some recent survey results that came out um, sponsored by MRI Software about the residential and commercial real estate industry, specifically technology trends. So really cool, really insightful uh, podcast episode where we really dive into what's currently being done by organizations such as your own, uh, but also what the future is holding. And what the future is holding for commercial organizations is looking to be a bit different from residential. And a lot of the technologies varied uh, depending on you know the types of tenants and residents. And we really dive into the data and talk about what you know the outlook looks like uh, for property management organizations. So without further ado, here is Mandira Mera. So today I am joined by Mandira Mera, Chief Marketing Officer at MRI Software. And we're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, MRI Software recently conducted a survey. And rather than simply reading the report, um, I know a lot of people don't want to dig through all of the, the details. I thought it'd be good for us to kind of discuss this on building success. So I have brought Mandira Mera to discuss the survey results with me. And thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me, Nick. I'm excited to be here. So we're going to jump right into it. Why exactly did MRI Software decide to conduct this survey? Well, we wanted to take a pulse of the real estate market and better understand the needs of our clients as they continue to evolve over time. We talk a lot about the need for technology and automation in this space, and of course there's no substitute for real-world data to prove the value there. Sure. i got to ask this question. Since it is a survey, uh, people are going to want to know who exactly it was that we talked to to gain these results. So can you kind of explain that process for us? Sure. We conducted a web-based survey at the end of 2017, and we reached out to commercial and multifamily real estate firms in the United States, uh, both clients of MRI and non-clients, in fact, majority non-clients. And we really wanted to get a diverse range of respondents to reflect the market as a whole, and fortunately, the results worked out that way. So of the 200-plus respondents to the survey, more than 50% were VP level or higher, um, and then 35% were directors, managers, or property managers. In terms of company size, roughly 30% of the respondents came from organizations with 50 or more employees, 25% had 11 to 50 employees, and 46% had 10 or fewer employees. And then in terms of the sector, 56% of of respondents came from the multifamily sector, 30% uh, hold office real estate, 21% are in retail, and 26% um, you know have portfolios that include other types of real estate. So a really diverse respondent pool. Yeah, and that's that's part of where I want to go with these results was some of the diversity there. Um, You mentioned the different sectors and I've kind of already read through the survey results myself and see kind of a big difference between residential and commercial when it comes to the usage of technology. And really, I like to go through both of those. And before we do that, though, um, I want to kind of level set and talk about the actual technology being used by these companies. Because from my knowledge of of what I'm seeing here, um, I find it kind of interesting that a lot of them really aren't embracing new technology beyond some of the more archaic forms of, of doing business. So mm-hmm. um, what what was there from a technology side that we kind of found from both of those sectors? Well, it's interesting, Nick, because you know I think both clients and software providers in, in the real estate industry, we have an ongoing dialogue about the fact that our sector is um, slower to adopt new technology than other some other market sectors. But you know, honestly, we were still surprised when we saw the results. Um, you know, so, 
when we ask clients, there's still a tremendous number of organizations that are relying on paper and or spreadsheets to run critical aspects of the real estate businesses. 42% of respondents are using spreadsheets and or paper to put a number it's on crazy. it. It's crazy. It is. And, and, you know, that's not just the small folks, right? I mean, looking at that larger 50 plus employee category, 34% of those organizations said they were still using spreadsheets and 9% of them said they are still using paper. Paper and filing cabinets, tons and tons of tedious work, but we're here to talk about technology. So we're gonna shift it, if that's okay with you, mm -hmm. uh, to those who actually do utilize technology. And as I said before, I kinda wanna talk about, let's talk about multifamily or residential on one hand, and then we'll talk commercial here in a little bit. Um, starting with the multifamily sector, those who are embracing technology, what's out there for them? What are they currently using? So what we heard from our respondents is it was a nice mix of tools. Um, you know, close to 60% of respondents said they are using social media. And, you know, we've got to conclude from that they're, they're using the social media channels to communicate with their residents, to, to find and engage with prospects as well. A good 55% of respondents um, are using property management and accounting software tools. So really running the core operations of their, you know, the real estate business. Um, you know, in, in, in software as opposed to those spreadsheets and, and, and paper. 47% uh, are using some sort of online work order system, which makes it easier for their residents, of course, to request maintenance and support. Uh, 47, another 47% said search engine optimization. Um, so as we know, you know, the days of that printed apartment guide are, you know, really in the past. And when people are looking for apartments, they, the first place they go is to Google or some other search engine. So no surprise really that 47% of the multifamily respondents are using search engine optimization. Um, and then we also saw 44% of respondents saying that they, they've gotten online resident payment capability so you know allowing their residents to electronically pay their rent um, of course that's easy and convenient for the resident and from the you know the community side of things it's easier for them to collect uh, things tend to happen you know more on time payments uh, more efficient for them so it's a win-win win-win but still a bit surprising that half of these multifamily organizations still aren't using a lot of these technologies and if you're listening and you're not using them, the majority are now starting to pass you by. So get on that, especially the social media thing, which seems to make a lot of sense when it comes to communication with your residents. But for those who aren't the laggards, who aren't the ones that are kind of waiting to see, see what's going to happen in technology, what was it that you found as being the kind of technology on the horizon? What's, what's the future for multifamily organizations when it comes to technology? Yeah, so we did ask the respondents um, which new technologies they were intending to deploy in the future. And, you know, we got a nice mix of responses there as well. So 21% of the respondents said virtual tours. Um, so if you think about it, you know, your prospects are looking for a new apartment online. Uh, they click on your website. They, they can see listings and they can actually go in then and view a tour of that apartment, virtually tour that apartment Which online. is huge if you live across country and you don't have the time to fly out and check out these places beforehand. Absolutely. Yeah. Or if you're searching late at night and you want Off to filter hours, down yeah. a list. It's it, and, and honestly, you know, th this is what people expect these days. And now they have, they have the cameras on the tripod with the 360 angle that mm -hmm. will go into each of these apartment units and completely scan the entire area so it's completely realistic it's it feels like you're awesome. there yeah. it feels like you're there so so that was the top one um, that people indicated they intend to deploy um, and then you know 17 percent of respondents said mobile inspections so of course as you have turnover in an apartment you move in you move out inspections um, you know being able to do this on a mobile device as opposed to paper and clipboard um, again it's it's streamlining your processes it's making your data digital so that it's searchable it's analyzable and you can glean insight from it um, so, you know, not, not a surprise there to see that that's, that's of interest as mm -hmm. well. 17% um, also indicated that they would like to put in some sort of lead tracking system. So as those uh, prospects, the, the um, you know, prospective residents come in to, to the, webs 
via the website or into the sales office or the leasing office or you know what have you they want to have a way to capture those leads and be able to effectively follow up on them and not be a paper guest card yeah exactly yeah exactly uh, 13% of respondents said they were looking at implementing investor portals. So, you know, this is a way in which if you've got multiple investors, um, you know, you can sort of easily communicate and share core operational and financial metrics, um, you know, on the business with your, with your stakeholders. And they can go and they can access that information and drill down on their own time, right? 24-7 yeah. self-service portal. Um, and then, you know, we did see 11% of respondents also talk about SEO and social media advertising. Okay, so really interesting. A lot of, lot of varied tools, a lot of smaller tools now that over half of these companies have some of the larger ones already, already set for their mm-hmm. organizations. So now let's move to the commercial real estate side. I kind of already alluded to the fact that it's different from what we've seen on the residential multifamily side. Um, though all these technologies that we've already spoken about can be really beneficial for them, it seems that there are discrepancies for the commercial side, no? That's absolutely right, Nick. And, um, you know, what we saw from the respondents in terms of the technologies that they have deployed currently, they tend to focus more on um, their internal processes and um, you know, operational efficiency, as opposed to uh, the communication with their end users, which mm-hmm. would be their tenants. Yeah. Um, so, fifty-four percent of the you know respondents that hold commercial real estate have property management and accounting solutions in 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 place. And you know, we saw a high high in- install of you know those solutions on the re- on the multifamily side as well. Forty-three uh, percent on the commercial side um, are using software for budgeting and forecasting, which of course is a key function, mm-hmm. um, you know, within commercial real estate. We did see thirty-two percent, um, you know, saying that they that they are using search engine optimization. So you know, we're starting to see people take that behavior that they use. Um, you know, at home in their personal lives as consumers and bring it to their work lives and, you know, maybe searching for office and retail space online as well. So we're seeing those, you know, commercial real estate firms responding to that. Especially as as they start to grow and develop marketing teams within their organizations that are starting to utilize those tools and and marketing strategies around getting more of their tenants involved. Exactly. Exactly. And, And then similarly, you know, just kind of stemming from the SEO and the, you know, people searching online, 20 27% of, um, you know, our commercial respondents said that they are using virtual tours. So they're finding that, you know, prospective tenants um, are are wanting to look at space online and and have that same immersive experience, um, you know, in a convenient, you know, digital platform they can access anytime. Especially that initial research. I'm I'm betting they're getting a lot of their due diligence done already via those virtual tours. Yeah, yeah. So what are the future interests of commercial real estate organizations? I know we already discussed this on the multifamily side. What's what's on the horizon for the commercial orgs? Sure. So, you know, we asked the commercial respondents the same question, you know, what are the technologies that you intend to deploy in the future? And um, the top response given by 14% of respondents was online tenant payments. So similar to what we saw on the multifamily side with the, um, you know, online resident payment, this is the ability for tenants to pay their rent online, uh, streamlines processes on both the tenant side and the, of course, the commercial real estate firm side of things as well. Uh, and then we saw, we heard from 13%, you know, search engine optimization. This is a common theme, this digital, mm-hmm. um, you know, digitalization or digitization is a common theme throughout. Another 13% talked about implementing property management and accounting solutions. So, you know, I'm going to I got to guess that's probably some of the smaller respondents that that haven't yet implemented a technology solution there. And then we saw, uh, you know, 12 percent of respondents saying they'd like to implement some business intelligence solutions. So moving beyond kind of that basic reporting, um, you know, these commercial real estate firms are starting to look for tools that are going to give them deeper insight into all of their properties, uh, rents, and, and costs so that they can make more informed decisions and, you know, drive better strategies. Uh, and then finally, 11%, um, you know, said they intend to add those virtual tours as well. So what's interesting here from my perspective, hearing you say the future for residential, the future for commercial, um, 
it's not necessarily the technologies that they're pursuing, but rather the multifamily real estate organizations, it seems like they're just more likely to adopt new technologies in general, especially when you see the makeup of, of how many of those organizations responded saying that they were looking to do X, Y, and Z. Why do you think that is? Well, so, you know, I mean, I think there's a couple of different reasons there. I mean, I will say, like, you know, just generally speaking, even if we step outside of real estate, um, you know, you tend to see more um, or faster innovation on the consumer side of things than you do on the business side. So if you think about um, business to consumer or B2C software companies, um, and, and you know, of course, as a marketer, I look at the marketing activities happening in those types of organizations as well. And then you start to compare that to business to business, um, organizations, you know, you generally see that there is a lag between that B2C and that B2B, you know, segment. And and within real estate in particular, I mean, I think we're seeing it from who their clients are, right? Our clients' clients. So in the multifamily world, you know, they've got a large pool of younger renters that are digital natives. I mean, they've grown up in this in this technology immersive world. And so their expectations are gonna drive, um, you know, a lot of what those firms need to do in order to stay competitive. And so let's talk about these younger people, the the millennials, the, the students. Um, I know as part of this survey, you kind of research trends emerging with them. Um, what is some of the stuff that you found when, when asking organizations about their millennials? Yes. Yeah, so we asked, um, you know, the multifamily um, real estate firms, what were the top amenities that um, that residents from different, you know, demographic age demographic groups were seeking? And, um, you know, perhaps not surprisingly, the top amenity for students, young professionals and established professionals was high speed broadband. Um, and, and for those students and young professionals, that was closely followed by online bill payments. So we heard that, yeah. right, online resident payments. That's why we're seeing it being deployed so much on the multifamily side. Um, these surpassed even uh, multiple options for cellular service, interestingly enough, um, exercise facilities, and even in-unit laundry. Um, and then, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, our senior and, you know, retiree renters didn't even have internet or e-bill payment as one of their top six amenities. They tended to value community security and the comfort amenities like in-unit laundry, cable TV, having a walkable community, et cetera. Which makes sense, but is, is really interesting nonetheless that you know the seniors and retirees, not even in the top six, huh? Not even in the top six. Not, not interested in the internet like the young people are, but. Um, so, Mandira, I have, one more question for you. What is your biggest takeaway from the report that you'd like our listeners to be aware of? Well, so, you know, I, I made a comment at the beginning about, you know, within this industry, we talk a lot, um, clients and, you know, the tech providers alike, we, we talk about uh, technology adoption within real estate. And, you know, we've seen, you know, with amongst our own client base that, you know, the early adopters of these solutions have really start to kind of go beyond just the, you know, the ERP piece, but really starting to add automation and, um, you know, digital solutions, digital enablement sort of throughout their entire value chain, if you will, that they're deriving a competitive advantage from that. So technology is helping them be more successful in owning and operating and investing in real estate. And, you know, we're now reaching a point in the market where it's no longer just about obtaining competitive advantage, but it's about remaining competitive at all, right, in attracting mm -hmm. those residents and those tenants, because we're starting to see from the data here that these guys are going to be demanding, the, you know, this level of, you know, technology adoption and digital engagement. So, you know, I guess the takeaways are, you know, for this space, we, we've really reached a point where um, it's no longer kind of an early adoption. It's it's time for people to embrace technology, adopt it quickly. And those younger generations are, you know, are paving the way with with their needs being a driver for um, for wider spread technology adoption that's going to have benefits kind of throughout the real estate organizations. And they are the future of all of your rental income. 
Absolutely. Whether that be on the uh, multifamily side or the commercial side, right? Because these people got to work too. Yeah. And they don't want to write a paper check. (laughs) No. They don't. So, Mandira, I certainly appreciate you taking the time to discuss this with me. If you'd like to see the survey results for yourself, they're located at mrisoftware.com slash survey. And if you like what you're hearing on our podcast, please, as always, leave a rating or review on iTunes or your favorite podcast app. And until next time, we will see you later.